Good morning, friends. Derek Doherty here. Hope you're having a great day in the Lord. Welcome to the Daily Devotional on Wednesday, March 29th. Blessings to you. This morning, the Lenten Bible reading is John chapter 5 and 6. I want to point out in John chapter 5, there is a lot of information that Jesus says, shares about his relationship with the Father. Uh, good reading right there. Take some time. Let it, let it digest. For our daily devotional, I want to look at John chapter 6, verse 66 through 68. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. You do not want to leave too, do you? He asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe that you are the Holy One of God. Amen and Amen. Jesus does have some very hard teachings. Hard teachings in first century Palestine and hard teachings in 2023 in the Bayshore area of Monmouth County. Jesus talks about his death. Jesus talks about the potential of new life. Jesus talks about how he is going to give his life up for us. He also speaks about how partaking of his flesh. And this is the area that I believe that many of the, it even says that the, some of his disciples were grumbling about this and saying, this is a hard teaching, who can accept it? And see, what Jesus was doing was Jesus was taking the physical that we understand and using it to explain the spiritual. He was using the things of this earth to explain the things of the divine. And many of the disciples, not the twelve, the other disciples, they couldn't swallow it, if you will. The, they couldn't get past the imagery that Jesus had there. Jesus does have very hard teachings for us, even still today. And I encourage you, as you read your scriptures, as you read the Bible, and you come upon something, you're like, hmm, what do I do with this? Talk to a sister or brother and talk to the Lord in prayer about it. God's Spirit is moving in wonderful, phenomenal ways. And God wants to help you as you seek to understand God's Word even deeper. Let's pray. Lord our God, we give you thanks for who you are and all that you do. We thank you, Lord, for all of your teachings, including the hard ones. And help us, Lord, to come to the place that Peter did and saying, you have the words of life. Where else can we go? So help us, Lord, in faith to open up the scriptures and read them on a daily basis. Help us, Lord, on faith to embrace the fact that you have the words of life. Thank you, Jesus. In your holy and wonderful name. Amen. Peace and God's blessings, friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.